So the process has officially begun. We are putting books on these shelves. I can't believe it's here. So I'll walk you through kind of what I'm thinking because it's a little overwhelming in the best possible way. These are all the books that weren't already in boxes. So I got them all in here and I'm kind of just trying to lay them all out so I can see everything. And then if you'll look, the issue is there's still all of those <laughs> that have books in them. And I, I'm, I'm scared. This is scary. It's, it's scary again, in the best possible way. This is a fun scared, uh, but a scared nonetheless. So I don't know what I'm doing <laughs> for organizing these books on these shelves. But I think where I'm gonna start is trying to highlight favorites. And, and I, I know that when I film, I have you know my, my ring light set up here. I know when I film, it'll probably be these middle shelves that you'll see. So I wanna make sure that those have my favorite fantasy books and favorite books in general displayed. But I also want to, in general, I think, organize by genre. So I don't have a solid plan yet, but I think we'll get there. So I'm gonna take you through my process and hopefully get at least started by getting these books.
update, all of the boxes are now empty. And almost all of the books, besides that stack there, are on the shelves. And I have space. I'm so relieved. I'm so, so relieved that we have some empty shelves, room to grow, the collection, amazing. So, as you can see, this room over here is now completely empty. Now, I need to sit and just stare at these shelves for a while and figure out what I want to do. I have a couple of ideas. So I know that this tall shelf all the way to the top, I think I want it to be my young adult fantasy slash sci-fi shelf. So everything here I'm going to make YA. Now I think I don't need the corner shelf for any YA, but if I do, I can kind of, you know, <laughs> move some stuff around, make some room for that. And then I'll also have middle grade on this corner shelf because I don't have a ton of middle grade, so I don't need a ton of space for it. These two shelves I will make fantasy so whatever I can I will try to fill in there and then I think this will have to be like half fantasy half other stuff maybe because I ran out of room on just one shelf for like contemporary historical fiction thrillers, horrors. So I need to figure out like this side of the room. The other thing is the top shelves here. I want to dedicate to like my classics collections, my special editions, that sort of thing. So I'm trying to leave these shelves as is. So I have a lot of just sitting and thinking to do for a bit. <laughs> And hopefully I will have some sort of plan in place soon. On a totally different note, I have an update for you on my reading because I am listening to the audiobook for The Perfect Wife by J.P. Delaney while I'm going through and organizing everything. And I'm really liking it so far. It doesn't have great reviews on Goodreads. I can actually show you the book now because all of my books are unpacked. Where did I put that book though? That's the problem. I don't know where anything is. Here it is. The Perfect Wife by J.P. Delaney. So it's, it's much more sci-fi than I was expecting. It's following a man who tragically loses his wife, but brings her back as an AI robot. And he is like the founder, CEO of a company that specializes in AI. And so this is like, a totally new breakthrough for the company uh, and there's very mixed opinions among the public on whether or not this is morally correct, like morally good, morally bad, uh, lots of interesting conversations on that and you're hearing it all from the wife's perspective, the AI robot wife's perspective. The interesting choice is it's written in second person, most of it is, uh, and it's, it's an interesting choice. I don't know that it was totally necessary, but I don't mind it. I'm not mad at it. So I'm going to keep going with it because I'm really enjoying it. I'm, I'm really finding it very interesting, even though not a ton is happening. I find it interesting, like the, the discussions it's bringing up, the arguments, the applications for how this type of technology could be used. I think it's really interesting. So I'm going to keep going. And I'm going to sit, I'm going to have some lunch. I'm going to sit and think about how I want to organize these books. So I will get back to you.
just woke up from her nap, but we're making our way. So far, so good. What I'm running into now is I have so much shelf, shelf space that I'm worried I'm gonna have empty shelves if I keep stacking them at this rate. So I'm gonna start doing my like non-fantasy shelves next and try to kind of start spreading those out a little bit more to take up some of the empty space. Like you can see that whole corner <laughs> is pretty much empty. Granted, like a lot of the books still need to be put on, but a lot of them are no longer fantasy books. So I'm running out of fantasy books, which does this give me permission to go book shopping? Probably not, probably not. Don't get ahead of yourself, Jesse. <laughs> but I am going to, yeah, work on this section next. Uh, once I put my daughter down for the night. Um, but in the meantime, I'm going to go play with her and have a good day. So we'll keep you posted on the progress. Okay, another update. I went to Home Goods today on a whim because I'm really looking forward to working out of the library for the first time tomorrow, but I didn't have a desk chair. So we literally were right next to Home Goods, decided to stop in look for a desk chair, and I have such a fun haul for you. So let me show you what I got. I'm so excited. I found the chair and it is so comfortable. It is gold finish, which matches the desk in here. This is the desk I've been working from out of the bedroom and it's now here <laughs> in the library. But what we also found at Home Goods besides the chair was this curtain, which is great, and the curtain rod, which I love because it's got like this kind of worn look to it, which makes it look a little more vintage. And this curtain color, hello, <laughs> is going to match the rug, I think, perfectly. So, found the curtain, found the rod, and my step stool. I just put this together. I found it on off of Amazon. Look at that. It folds out and it's a little step stool. So instead of having like the full on ladder, this is what I have instead and I love it. The color is perfect because again, it matches the curtain, but it's also, I think, gonna match the rug perfectly. So now the only thing left is getting that rug in here. In terms of where I'm at with organizing the library, as you can see behind me, I'm almost there, but I've got an empty shelf. <laughs> so I have to spread some stuff out some more. And now that I know kind of where I'm sitting, I do want to adjust which books are behind me just a little bit. So I still have a little bit more work to go. You know, it's coming along though. I'm very happy with how it looks so far. So we're, we're getting there. It's been an all day thing. I put in <laughs> probably at least eight hours today <laughs> on this. So I'm really excited about it. Uh, thank God my daughter took a long nap today. She took like a three hour nap. Uh, thank God she went to sleep early and <laughs> my husband was able to watch her while I also was organizing this. So it's been a full day, but we're going to keep, keep going. I'm very excited. <laughs> some spacing issues here and there, like some shelves that I 
you know, don't love yet. But what I'm thinking about doing is maybe next video, I'll take you with me as I start looking for like knickknacks, if you will, things to go on the shelves that aren't just books, that will add personality to it, that will add character to it, that are themed for that particular shelf, something like that, that will help fill them and will help kind of the spacing issues that I'm having. So I'll start to do a little bit of shopping. Like I have that plant right there and I really like how that looks. So maybe get a little more green in the shelves somewhere. Uh, so I'll think about that. And then the only other thing I have to show you is pretty exciting. I don't, I don't know how this is going to look. I really don't. My husband saw it and he said it looked like a chandelier in Winterfell in Game of Thrones which I was like, perfect. <laughs> so I really wanted something, again, vintage, uh, cozy, darker, to kind of darken up the room a little bit. I don't know how that's gonna look. I really don't. And I'm, I'm trying to not make it clash with the lights up there. So I'm really hoping that that would look good. So in the next video, you'll see that one go up and hopefully it looks okay. If it doesn't, I can return it. I have the receipt, I can return it. Uh, but yes, so that is the chandelier that will go right in the middle here to help balance out the room. So we will see. So I really just need that rug. That's it, just need the rug. This is really awesome. I'm loving it. So uh, I hope this was interesting. My next video, again, will be taking you shopping with me to hopefully find the, the character, the personality, the knickknacks. Uh, and I used to do Funko Pops, and I love Funko Pops. But I think I want to do something a little different to kind of, again, fit the theme of like antique, vintage, fantasy related, like something that makes it feel a little more like old timey. <laughs> I feel like Funko Pops don't really fit into that aesthetic, <laughs> if you will. So I probably won't be putting those up. Maybe I'll put some on my desk just for fun, but I probably won't be putting them up on the shelves. So I'll find some other stuff. Uh, and then I will do, after that video, I will do a final library tour, which is so crazy to think about. It is finally here. It's been, it's been a road and I'm so glad that you've been with me on this road <laughs> to this destination. It's been so much fun. So I will see you in my next one. I hope this was interesting. <laughs> And uh, if you enjoyed it, make sure to give it a thumbs up, subscribe if you'd like to. And if you want some more information about how to further support the channel, you can always check out the link to my Patreon that is in the description box below. I hope you are having a wonderful day and I will see you all in my next one. Bye.